Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a very exciting new product launch that I'm going to take you through. Um, you must have guessed from the title of the video, I'm talking about the K-Beauty concealers. And I've been wanting K-Beauty to come out with concealers because honestly all the products that I've tried from K-Beauty until now, I've been blown away by them, I love them, I use them constantly, I keep repurchasing because I run out of them. So I was really very excited about the concealers and of course um, I'm going to take you through them in this video. I have four shades with me and uh, I'm just going to take you through how I like to use concealers like different colors of concealers for various steps in the makeup routine. Right now I only have skincare done, there's no primer, nothing. I, I'm going to be skipping primer for today. Uh, I'll directly start with the color correcting bit. So as you know, I like to use concealers for color correcting these days instead of an orange concealer. What I like to do is I like to use a darker color of concealer to color correct. Uh, for me, uh, majorly what I want to color correct are the under eye area because that's where I have most of my pigmentation. Uh, here and there if I do have a pimple breakout then I will use that for spot correcting as well. Let's first talk about uh, the concealer that I'm going to take you through. So this is the K-Beauty concealer. This is the packaging actually. This is like a cardboard packaging. It comes in and you have the shade uh, number written right. Uh, and you have the shade number written here. And this is how the packaging is. This is the packaging. It has a white uh, cap and they have the logo embossed on the main tube just this is the color of the product this is the applicator as i mentioned i have four colors so i'm going to first start with a color correcting step k beauty is exclusively available on nika so that's where you can get them from drop the link in the description box below make sure to check that out shade 140 y medium now y is the undertone of the color so y here means yellow all right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to start applying it where I have the dark circles. You just want to make sure whenever you're using a concealer for color correction or even for brightening up, you don't apply it in a thick layer. I always tell that always apply the concealer uh, in a thin layer. Just apply just enough like whatever is needed. You need that but don't apply it in a very dense thick layer because that's when the makeup starts to get cakey. Just uh, used a little bit here. Anywhere else on my face I don't feel I have severe pigmentation that can't be covered with a uh, foundation so I just tend to skip it. Now what I'll do is I'm going to keep this on for a few seconds before I blend it out so that I get the pigmentation um, set in. Over this I'm going to use a foundation and over on top of that I'm going to use a lighter concealer to brighten up foundage. Uh, that this provides is decent enough to cover everything. I have used this multiple times. I've been testing it out uh, before making this video. So I have my views on it. This is not like a first impression kind of a video. It's more of a review video. Now these concealers are enriched with marula and rosehip oil. So they are not drying whatsoever on the under eye area. I have dry skin and that's one of my major concerns whenever I'm choosing a uh, any concealer that it's not excessively drying because sometimes uh, the uh, concealers that provide full full coverage are mostly a little bit on the dry side and then they end up in the fine lines or they end up looking cakey and that's not the look that I want. This is it just blends also if very very easily as you can see I'm just tapping it and it has already uh, blended and that's it. You can see immediately the face is looking one tone and there is like the color correction bit is done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the K-Beauty hydrating foundation on top of this and then I'll come back with a lighter layer of and then I'll come back and show you how I use the lighter concealer to uh, brighten up my face. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lighter concealer. Now this one is 100Y light. Again, uh, I'm wow warm undertone so why uh, undertone like the yellow undertone concealers work best for me so now i'm just going to take this concealer and i'm going to brighten up my under eye area and the center part of my face essentially i'm going to start right here take a little bit on the center of my nose
again i like to work in very thin layer the product is not too much that i've dispensed out but i'm just trying to uh, kind of flare it on the center part of my face in a very very thin layer It blends really easily whenever you're blending a concealer or a foundation, any base product for that matter. Just tap it into the skin to make sure that it goes into the skin and it's not like a sitting right on top of your skin. Easy to blend this concealer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of contouring using uh, the K-Beauty concealers. I have two other colors from K-Beauty for contouring. The color that I'm going to use is 195P. It is called Deep. Uh, I'm just going to take this a little bit. And I'm just going to start by pressing it where I want to do the contouring bit. I'm going to start blending it out. You can see how easy it is to blend these concealers. I'd like to share one more tip with you when you're blending. Sometimes if it happens that you have blended it a little bit too much or you've gone in and out of the area where you actually want to blend, just take a lighter concealer and you can basically just use it as an eraser to either sharpen your contour or if you've made any contouring mistakes you can just clean that up some people do prefer like a sharper contour so you can just do that as well get any of your contouring mistakes i just wanted to share that uh, tip with you guys here so there you go this is how i use my k-beauty concealers i'm thoroughly happy with these the last step is to just uh, you know kind of set your uh, concealer so that on your under eye area that it doesn't bleed or it doesn't crease so i'm just going to take a little bit i have dry skin so during winter uh, months i prefer to use as less of uh, powder as possible um so yeah this is how i like to use the k-beauty concealers different colors for different uh, functions and different uh, areas of the face you can use um I'm going to link down the product in the description box below. If you have any questions regarding this product or color correcting or contouring or concealing anything, please feel free to write them in the comments below and I will uh, surely get back to you for the same. Thank you so much for watching my video guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.